20, and then you subtract y from it. It's 20 minus y. Is it going to make a difference, do you think, on y minus 20 and 20 minus yeah. y? Oh, yeah. One's going to be positive, one's going to be negative. That's the difference. So if you put that on there, you're going to have an issue. Well, off, your numbers are going to be different. Often it will be off by a sign. For instance, if I do 5 minus 20, I get negative 15. If I do 20 minus 5, I get positive 15. It will be not the same. Not the same at all. How many understood that concept there? Good, all right. All right, let's try this one. The quotient of a number and four. Quotient of a number and four. Let's underline some words that mean math right off the bat. What is a word that means math for me? Quotient. What's quotient mean? Divide. It's got to be either add, subtract, multiply, or divide, right? Which divide. one? Say it again. Divide. Yeah, that means divide. Whenever you see quotient, we mean divide. If you're a little fuzzy on these, please go back, refresh your memory on page 173. These words are up there. Another thing that means math, we've dealt with this a few times now, a number. Oh, pick a number. J, that'd be good. T. Yeah, T. L. I got J. L. I said J. <laughs> I'll pick J. J for Jimmy Johnson. You guys watch NASCAR? No. Shame on you. I didn't even, I don't know. I didn't watch the race. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for ruining it for me, Kevin. Appreciate it. So the quotient of a number and four. This is in order, it's just like a sum is in order. So if we have a quotient of a number and four, we're going to have j over four. That's the way we're writing division. It's going to be a fraction. Now, do you feel all right with these examples I'm giving you? We're going to step it up a little bit. These are just pretty much two things either connected by addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. We're going to step it up, ramp this up, and see if we can make something a little bit more complex that we've been dealing with already. For instance, The product of 5 and a number decreased by 21. We're going to go through the same process that we just finished. We're going to underline some key words here. What's the first key word I might want to underline? Product. product. What's product mean? Multiply. The product of 5 and, I know a number, a number could be anything. Let's pick uh, H. Oh, okay, H could work. I don't really like picking S's because they look like fives for me. That's the only reason. So H would work for me. What else needs to be undermined? Decreased. Decreased by, okay. Decreased by. What's decreased by mean? Subtracted okay. from. Decreased by does not mean subtracted from. Decreased by, decreased by means minus the rest. Subtracted from would be written at the end of our sentence. This would be a number subtracted from would be like Y minus it would be a 20 minus y, subtracted from 20. Decreased by, this states what is it's being decreased by. It's being decreased by 21. So whatever we're going to have, we're going to subtract 21 from it. Do you see the difference between that problem and that problem? Subtracted from, yeah, that comes at the end. You're taking that away from something. Here, decreased by 21 says whatever you're going to have, you are going to subtract 21 from it. So we need to identify the first part and then subtract 21 from that, that part. So can you write out, ignore this for a second, can you write out the product of 5 and a number, H? Can you write out the product of 5 and a number, H? How much is that? H. Now what this said is whatever you've got here, you're, it's going to be decreased by 21. How do we show decreased by 21? 
or a minus one on one. That's the way we write that or represent that expression. Let's try a couple more. It looks like we need a little bit more help on this thing and then we'll, we'll be good. Twice the sum of a number in seven. I'm going to help you out with this one because you might not know what twice means. Whenever you see twice, twice mean what? What number is associated with twice? Two. Two. So if I have twice five, how much is twice five? Squared. Not squared. Two times. Two times two. So if I have twice five, it means I have five twice or ten. If I have twice twenty, it means two times twenty. So twice means two times. Then we see twice. Twice means two times. That's what twice is for us. So twice we underline that sum. I already know that means plus a number. I already know that could be anything. Let's pick B. So twice the sum of a number in seven. Here's the deal. Whenever it says like the product of or twice the or sum of, and it doesn't give you a number afterwards, it says twice the, and then says, wait, not twice seven or twice any, not twice a number. It says twice the sum of something. What this kind of suggests to you is this part is going to be in parentheses. I hope you, you, you would listen to that. You made a note of that. You can watch some video again. Whenever it says like twice the or uh, product of or sum of, and then it gives you something else besides a number or uh, a, a variable, what that signif signifies is that you are going to have a parentheses. Here's what this says. Twice the sum of a number in seven. What you need to do is find the sum of a number in seven and then take twice that or multiply it by two. So what's the sum of a number of seven or b in seven? How would you write that? Say that louder for me, please. B plus seven. Yeah, good. See, I don't want just twice. I don't want this. Look, look at the board. I want you to see the difference. If I did that, is that right? This says twice b plus seven. This doesn't say twice the sum of b and seven. Twice the sum would be that. That's where those parentheses are coming from. So whenever you read that, it says twice or the product of or something, uh, the product of like the sum, product of the sum, that suggests or twice the sum or quotient of the sum. It suggests there's going to be parentheses somewhere. If it doesn't give you directly what you want, it says you're probably going to have some parentheses. Watch out for that. And here, of course, we have that. Twice the, twice the sum of what? Well, these two things. That's what you're asking. Is that what they actually that's it. Now, if you wanted to distribute, could you distribute? No. You could do. Yeah, you could give me that. Well, not that. You could do that. 2b plus 14 if you'd like. Um, but to get this thing just from here to our expression, this is fine. This is where you can stop for me, okay? Let's try one more for our section here. Actually, you know what? Why don't you try? I'll give you a couple minutes, see if you can work this thing out. Quotient of 11 and twice a number. Quotient of 11 and twice a number. Give that a try.
So we're underlining the key words, find out what those mean mathematically. Then we write out our expression. And if you'd like to, you can distribute. I don't think you use on this one. So let's go ahead and do this problem together. We have the quotient of 11 and twice the number. So when we have the quotient, of course we mean divide. Quotient of 11, that's not really much. But twice, we know that twice means two times. And a number means some variable that you pick. I'll pick z. You both pick z? No. I did earlier. Did you? Oh, we were almost the same wavelength, but we are not. The quotient of 11 and, if it doesn't say 11 and something else directly, this is 11 and twice a number, what this signifies is that this is going to be together somewhere, that 2z is going to be together somewhere. So the quotient of 11 says the quotient of whatever comes first is going to be on the top of your fraction. The quotient of 11 and the rest of it is going to be on the bottom of your fraction. So if it says quotient of 11 and twice a number, that twice a number is going to be right down here on the denominator. You should have 2 Z. How many people have exactly I did it. that? I did it the bottom. Okay, flip that around. The quotient, whatever comes first, is on the top of your fraction. So when it says quotient of 11, that means bam, 11's got to be there. The twice a number, that's going on the denominator. I like the same thing, but I prefer to be on the. Like this? No, I just on the Z. Like. Or on the Z. Huh? Yeah, that's fine. It means the same thing. It doesn't really matter. As long as you have these in the same position and they mean the same thing, that's what I care about right now. How many people feel okay on these expressions? I know these get a little tough sometimes. You really have to stop and think about them. Don't just skip them on your homework. They are going to be on your test. Hope you caught that. Make a little note. These will be on your test. I will check you for them. Uh, so make sure you know how to do those, okay? 